The Kawasaki Z900 has been enjoying years of commercial success, and the company think that no improvement are required. But unfortunately, nothing in our life is flawless. According to Motorrad, designer Carly took a closer look at the Z issue area of weight, and he created the concept of the next Z900, which receives various improvements. So keep watching. Even though the Kawasaki Z900 is undoubtedly a really good sports naked bike, but there is room for improvement. However, the enhancements are not directed at the four-cylinder engine. With a displacement of 948 cc and a power output of roughly 125 horsepower, the Z900 readily competes in performance with the Yamaha MT-09 and does not need to hide from the competition. In our opinion, the weakness of the Kawasaki Z900 is its weight. The factory specification for the curb weight of the Z900 is currently 212 kilograms. Meanwhile, the Triumph Street 7765, the KTM 890 Duke, and Yamaha MT-09 only weighed around 190 kilograms with a full tank. The Z900 frame was an essential factor in losing weight. The steering head and engine are only connected by a crude remnant of high-strength tubes. That's why Motorrad thinks there is no longer a direct connection between the steering head and the swing arm bearing. This idea is similar to the Ducati Panigale V4 with over 200 horsepower. The rest of the aluminum frame from the large steering head to the engine weighs only 5 kilograms and can withstand the forces of more than 200 cavalry. A mid-range naked bike should be able to do something similar. If we take inspiration from the Ducati Panigale V4, the next Kawasaki Z900 also need transformation at the rear. The plastic rear fairing, which continues to taper to a point, finds its place on a slim aluminum sheet construction, which is screwed to the short tubular main frame. Designer for Motorrad, Carly, also improved the face of the next Z900 with a slightly taller tank and a more aggressive shaped lamp cover which takes inspiration from the Z1000. That's all.